All right, there we go. So let's talk to Eelsil. Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you. Not even a hint of electrocution. Yes, no hint of electrocution, because I'm pretty much now a badass. The other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry about that. Yes, worry me about what? <laughs> um, no, I... Um, actually, yes, you probably should. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it just as quickly. Uh, Listen, huh. you handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the sea viper blood Thanks. ritual without That's destroying great. Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. Oh, this guy, this guy. Okay, so I, I just have to point out that there's this little area back here, and I have to see what is here. Okay, coming with. <laughs> well, it looks like this is where we're, where we're supposed to go, babe. Oh, okay. So... I got the guy on the left. Oh. Never mind. I'm sorry, I was already... Alright, it's dead anyway. Um, okay, did we kill everything? Who is everybody here with us? Very I'm kind of confused too. I don't know who the who's the player characters, who's the NPCs. I'm yeah, I'm kind of at a loss. You know, I I understand that it's an MMORPG, and and no, I have not spent all that much time with these types of games in, in quite a while. Yeah. But um. It is just chaotic having this many people on the screen doing the same thing <laughs> at one time. Uh, I don't know. I kind of, kind of wish we could just party up, but only have us on the screen. Yeah. All right. Did you? Uh, right, together alone. <laughs> together alone. Did you uh, use the lodestone on <laughs> that did, thing, babe? I did. Okay. I did, yeah. I did, yeah. Oh, oh, mushrooms. Uh, no, yeah, we can't no, pick them. Can't take them. They look Damn so it. perfectly pickable. There's a giant one. I want it. Yeah, I know, right? What are we, back in Morrowind? <laughs> uh. Um, okay. We'll use the lodestone. Why not? I guess. <laughs> yeah, Messenger was saying you'd have us. You wish they had, they would have a separate faction for uh, you know, for people to uh, join if they become a vamp or a werewolf. And yeah. I mean that's it, it is cool, but because being a vampire or a werewolf generally gives you like super superhuman abilities, it would be really difficult to uh, to balance. Oh, he says like Guild Wars one. Never played Guild Wars, so. Um. But no, I could see that, because then everybody's overpowered, so if there was some way to make it so that you're playing in a different mode where the game is, you know, uh, really amped up to compensate. Yeah, you see, unfortunately nowadays, though, every, uh, every MMO is designed for PvP. Yeah. So... But I don't know. I don't know enough about these kind of games to really comment on that. The only, like you, baby, the only MMO that I ever really played was Dark Age of Camelot. and Back in the day. Yes, way back in the day. Back, God, 11 years ago. God, we're old. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're, we're <laughs> old. We weren't then. No. All right. There. You're sneaky, sneaky. I'm being sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Oh, she's got some hit points. Mm-hmm. And I still haven't gotten the hang of blocking in this game. It's... it's <laughs> I, just, I just can't seem to time my blocks. So I just sit there and smack at things. They're not doing enough damage to me for it to matter. That's true. Okay... I guess because when I'm attacking stuff, I, I'm like right up in its face and uh, too zoomed in to <laughs> read the, the movements. 
Okay, we'll keep killing stuff and taking it and looting its corpse. Because that's fun best. shit. Oh, there's a book and a ledger. Moon sugar where? A ledger. Oh. What ledger? Okay, never mind. Okay, that ledger. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, got it. No, I'm sorry. <sighs> well, I was looking for stuff, but um. All right, it says we've, we've gotten four out of five on the lodestones, but I don't know about you, but the marker seems to be stuck on my screen. Huh. Yeah, because no matter where I'm facing the quest marker, um... Hmm. Upstairs, maybe? <laughs> no, I have no idea. The quest marker will not move. Let me try going to going and changing my focused quest no ever wow no matter what it seems like oh i think i see where we go follow me all right um coming oh wait i got a mage here okay okay Oh. That was really odd, the way it was... Well... Well, I say that. Yeah, me too. Keep following. There it is. Oh. Don't know why the quest marker got all jacked up, though. Talk to Eelsil's Sigic Projection, huh? directly to your mind. Okay. Sigic order again. Yep. Alright, and yet again, my marker seems to be... My quest marker seems to be a little jacked up. Oh well, there he is, so that doesn't really matter, but... I know what they're planning. Through my Sigic projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. Congratulations. I summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that yeah, storm Atronax do tend to be kind of tough. Yeah. The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanathi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the, the thunderbox. Thunder <laughs> oh, the the oh, nice. No trace of the town. <laughs> <laughs> There's the genius of their plan. How do you find a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself. Okay. Horns trap storm slave, but the lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds. Elegant, yes. Oh, definitely, absolutely elegant. It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanapi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from storm slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself. You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanaki. Wow, this is... We just keep running into all these complicated quests. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. Alright. So apparently, uh, according to Messenger here, yeah, in Guild Wars 1, you could... Uh, when you were in a town area, you'd see all the other players, but when you went out in the fighting field, you had only you and your party members. That mm -hmm. would have been cool. Yes, it would. They didn't do it that way for this game. Yeah, I know. You see, I don't mind seeing everybody else in town. It's just... Yeah. All right. Well, I'm thinking it's about time to call it a night on this game. Yeah, we probably should. But, uh... Messenger, glad, uh, glad you showed up. We'll be streaming more in the future as soon as we figure out a good way to stream and local record at the same time because I really like to local record at disgustingly high quality which uh, you'll see for the more re on the more recent uh, uploads on my YouTube channel um, are all at 1080p 
Um, this one's not as uh, as important because it's just a beta. Plus, we really wanted to test out live streaming with uh, mm -hmm. with both of us talking at the same time and et cetera, et cetera. But we're probably running the wrong way to get yeah, out of here. Yeah, there was a door right behind. Was you. there? Yeah, I was wondering why he didn't go through See, it. See, this is why I keep my <laughs> wife around. Because she's smarter than me most of the time. <laughs> no, you were thinking of other things. Yeah, I guess. So, were we? was it this way, baby? Am I going the right way? I, I can't tell because I don't know exactly where you are. Uh, hang on, let me kill this sea viper duelist real quick. Oh, damn. I don't know where you went. I'm, I'm heading right back toward Jackass. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna run past all these pukes. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I had to kill this guy. But, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the local record here.